Hello YouTube. Um, I'm not not filming me because of any particular reason. Only that it's dark, and I don't really want to put big lights on. So try and give you something different to look at. Anyway, what's important is what's being said. So those who have ears, open them, because I'm going to say something. And yes, it's deep, so you kind of have to get on the deep level. Adam, first man, and Eve probably at the same time, were born in the night. And so are our eternal souls, which, as all children of our Mother, Father, God, were created. So there was a moment of your eternal soul not being aware. Being created and then becoming aware of your existence. This 6,000 years is like the time be be between the middle of the night and the dawn. The sun has just peaked over the horizon. Though for some time we've seen changes in the sky. First of all, the slightly lighter blue. Then some green tinges coming on the horizon, which seem to spread and change color And then the tip of the sun comes up and shines on the land. For Adam and Eve's first night, is a good analogy for our first dip into existence. We are like tadpoles in our eternal existence. We have just begun. And now we start to see the sun. Glorious. Wonderful. And so why is it like this? Why beginning in the dead of night? I think I'd prefer it to be that way. As the night had to be endured. So start with the night and then when sunset comes after that glorious day which we've yet to come just begin our glorious day then when the night falls again we know well we must have some faith that another dawn will come It never stops with God. There's always something else. There's always something more. Thank God. Thank God it's that way. We're so near the beginning. 
And yes, most of us think we're God. Most of you I don't. Because I've felt God, so I know I'm not God. <laughs> I know I'm not a God. Well, they see, the truth is we are all mini-gods. Mini-gods. And it's dawn. The dawn has come at last. This is on a soul level. We're now all... We're all beyond that point where it's inevitable. Well, it was always inevitable. But it's like a tidal wave now of love. People are becoming more loving. And it's happening. And, um, yeah, cool, thought I wanted to share that, okay, bye. Where's the button? Ooh.